check out the latest um, videos that have been kind of trending and talked about and give our reactions to. Let's just uh, hop right into that. Right off the back, Tori, Tori Kelly, missing you. It's a cool little song. Definitely kind of give me vibes of like 90s, early 2000s kind of uh, sound. Certainly kind of like, I don't know, especially late 90s, definitely. Um, that actually might be the first song I've ever heard from Tori Kelly. I only kind of vaguely remember from uh, was American Idol way back in the day. And she's still out here. OK, I mean, vocally wise, strong. Production was actually pretty decent. Like I said, it definitely gave me like late 90s or 2000 vibes. And that was cool. So I'm not, not mad at this one. Not mad at this one at all. Let's go to the next track. Uh, JPEG Mafia, Danny Brown, Scaring the Hoes. Yeah, for those who don't know, they're definitely throwing it back to the early, early days of YouTube. Um, I forget the actual name of the video, but there was one specific video of this, of this character, uh, this young black kid basically doing this, like kind of ironically speaking about his host and it became a smash hit on the early days of YouTube. So I forget the name, but it'll come to me. I didn't know where he was going with this track. I was like, yo, what is going on? I don't know if I can keep going the way I was going. Like it was starting to grate on me a little bit. It was definitely giving like uh, Squidward from SpongeBob uh, clarinet vibes for sure. And I was like, I truly hope he's going somewhere with this. And when that beat drop, okay. That beat drop was tough. Like I don't, it had me shook for a second, but when he brought it back, he was definitely, he definitely brought it back and uh, it's turned into a banger. It's kind of the definition of you almost had me there in the first half because I was like, bro, this is too much. This is almost too much for me, but uh, he definitely flip that motherfucking turn it around and that should hit um jpeg and danny brown are definitely carrying the wave and the flag for like weird experimental hip-hop these days and that, that's kind of how they started but they're still holding it down and they're actually only getting better with time so is that a full project together if that's a full project i'm i'm there definitely there Next, let's go to um, Doichi, who I believe is signed to Top Dog Entertainment, because I believe we, the first time I heard it was on Smeen's project. And I was like, who the F is this? I think this is who I'm thinking of. I don't even know if this, <laughs> this video is safe for streams, jeez. That production is a pop, though. Yo, she might be the one. I remember hearing her her verse on Smito and thinking like, "Yo, she's nice. Who is this?" And now she's going full R and B with it. I thought she was a rapper, but now she's she got the full on R and B '90s, early 2000s vibe going on with the choreography, videos, everything. Like, yo, she might be the one. She definitely might be the one. Yeah, he might be the one. Top Dog might have another one on their hands. They promote her right. She, she got it. From the bars I heard from her earlier to her singing now and the production, and she got Kodak on there. Oh yeah, she she definitely positioned herself extremely well right here. This this could be it. This could be it. 
Luigi. Nice. Uh, let's go to Absol. I know TDRs. Absol, got a wrap. This was easily one of my favorite albums of last year, and I still kind of go back to it often. I think, I think he put his foot in this one, and he he definitely deserves more recognition than he's get. But it may fire. This is this track was hard when it first came out, and it's still hard now. Oh, I like that! Yo, he really him. He's really him. And this is definitely one of the best albums of last year. Took a leap, sat on my leg and I lost some teeth. And I'm still standing behind every word I speak. So, so low a hole, man. Put some respect on his name. Let's go to, um. Ooh, Hit Boy Nas, The Tide. I think Hit Boy just dropped the new album as well, which we are definitely going to listen to here soon on one of these uh, now spinning streams. There's a lot of music that dropped recently, so definitely gonna have to add that one to the list. I don't know if he actually like writes his own bars or not, but his flow is solid. Like most producers are whack on the, on the, on the mic, but hey, all right. the greatest flow possibly of all time only one i can add only other artists i can ever say who flows close it's big bro like you just know when you hear nods like that flow is one of one man one of one Another one. Yo, that's another one between Hit Boy and Nas. Like, yo, these two are like perfect, perfect pairing, bro. Like, imagine the stuff. Like, if this didn't make Nas's album, like, imagine what heat they got coming for KD4 already. Like, that could not have been a pair, a more perfect pairing in the last decade. Like, they really bring out the best from each other and. They really bring that real hip hop back, hip hop back, man. Like, just nasty, nasty. Let's go to um, let's do the last one. They say the rest for next time. Uh, Freddie Gibbs, zipper backs. Consistency, like he's consistently just put out heat, and I think he's certainly been one of the most kind of slept on artists of the past five to ten years, and I think he's put out some of the best projects over the last decade for sure. I think his last one was maybe not as good as the ones he did with Madlib, but it was still like a very very good album that I think got overlooked large part because of his own antics, but he still puts out hot, he still puts out heat, man, and. That was just another one. That was just another one.